سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ a palace in Jannah for partaking in building a masjid in honor of the hadith and this is reported to Ibn Abbas رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ he says من بنا لله مسجدا the prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم said whoever partakes in building a masjid even if the masjid be tiny like the size of a nest of a bird yet still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless him with a palace in Jannah Subhanallah even if the masjid is of the size of a nest of a bird still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless him with a palace in Jannah Subhanallah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted and conferred a very special blessing upon this ummah that the whole of earth is made a masjid for a muslim the entire earth is made a masjid subhanallah and this is one of the unique uh, uh, blessings which were granted to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam no other previous prophet was granted this special quality and uniqueness except our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَتُرِلَتْ لِيَ الْأَرْضُ مَسْجِدًا وَتْحُورًا وَكَمَا قَعَلَى هَلِهِ سَلَاهُ وَسْلَامُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made in the entire earth a masjid for my ummatis subhanallah and this also indicates the rank of this ummah in the eyes of the Prophet and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the second topic which is really important and it is also displayed on the posters is seeking Islamic knowledge mm. I will try to combine the both the Prophet said in a hadith Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu reports this and he says the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said when a Muslim mm. listen to this please brothers down there when a Muslim, when a Muslim performs his wuzu and then he walks toward masjid then he walks towards masjid what happens Allahu Akbar the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam says every step of his will erase a sin of him subhanallah and with the next step Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise his degrees nearness to him Allah usse ek darja apne kareeb aur farmata chala subhanallah now if you combine this with intention of seeking knowledge Allah akbar what will happen when you come out of your house with intention of visiting a masjid and with intention of seeking knowledge mm. the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said what innal malaika subhanallah the angels will spread their wings under your feet subhanallah farishte tumhare kadmon ke niche ab apne par bichhate chale jayenge this is you and me the gunadar ummah is the sinful ummah is of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam yet if when the intention are true when the intention are sincere then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam guarantees that with every step you will get close to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with every step allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you rewards of nature with every step allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove your sins and with every step allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring you closer to jannah than paradise this is the maqam 
the fuzzle and the karam of this ummah and the fuzzle of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is the fazilat of seeking knowledge. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said what? That these masajid are gardens of jannat. Subhanallah. <laughs> these masajid are Garden. gardens of jannat. If you combine this with another hadith, the Prophet وسلم, says, when you walk past a garden of Jannat, oh, when you pass by a garden of, garden of Jannat, <coughs> Subhanallah. then don't just walk by it. Mm. You must go there Mm. And try to eat from that garden of Jannah. <laughs> ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How can we eat from the garden of Jannah? And what are these gardens of Jannah? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The gardens of Jannah are the majalis of ilm. Gatherings where ilm is being distributed. Gatherings where people are spreading the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how can you eat from it? By learning the knowledge. By seeking the knowledge. By learning the masai. 